Hi, I'm Robert, president of Paraboss, and what I'd like to show you quickly is how to go from uh, any embroidery to an applique using the new NGL 50. And the idea of showing you the whole, the whole process is because there's a certain speed that occurs that's going to change. You're going to have four, five, six times the output on a traditional embroidery machine. And the way we do it with one person basically, we, we do run a, a shop here in Toronto, is we have a hooping press. So I'm going to walk you through each stage. I'm actually going to hold the camera and focus in on my employees doing it so that you can see each um, particular component and up close on how everything worked. And then if you have any questions, give us a call. You can go to uh, permaboss.com or actually permabosslaser.com. So I'll pause the video here and I'll focus in on the process from scratch. Thanks. Okay, so the first step uh, that I recommend is you always have a hooping press. Without a hooping press, Stephen, can you just uh, go through the process? Without a hooping press, you don't really have a chance to keep up with the laser because the hands aren't as quick. And what you see happening is Stephen's going to mount that with his foot. He's going to throw the backing. It's going to stay on a clip. Hooping press is something that we have available on the uh, permabosslaser.com website. He's going to throw on the t-shirt. But both his hands are free and able to register, oops, able to register the um, garment really easily, really quickly. And what's going to happen is he's going to have a perfect hoop that's consistent because he's using his foot all the time. So we're going to take it over, straight over to the embroidery machine. And because we're just doing a demo, we're going to do the one embroidery station right now. You can use any embroidery machine. We happen to have a brand new Baradin, that's what we like but uh, it doesn't make a difference what brand, what age your embroidery machine is, how big it is. With the NGL laser, go ahead. So the, the NGL laser uh, can use any embroidery hoop. What he's doing right now is just stitching a couple spots to know where the corners are. Uh, you notice we put down some tin foil. A tin foil is something that the salespeople from the other laser companies want to tell you they uh, don't use. And it's bogus because the laser will go through certain materials. If I can hold this felt up to the light, you take a look and I hold it up to the light, I can actually see light going through. And if light can go through, then I'm able to, um, I need the, the, the foil to prevent the laser from going through. So now there's four marks here and that just tells him where to put the felt. If he didn't have those four marks there, he would cut a bigger piece of felt. There you go. He would cut a bigger piece of felt and not have to worry about it. So he's just balancing it. And what we're going to do now is the stitch out. And this is the running stitch for that specific uh, job. In this case we're doing NGL established 09. And I know this is a boring part, but uh, we do want to prove to you that how, how simple it is and how quick it is. So your embroidery machine can be faster, your stitch can be faster, can be slower, it's irrelevant at this point. So what I was saying before with the foil is that the laser will go through the material. If it goes through this first layer here, then it'll cut this one and you won't know till you wash it. So by actually putting this foil here, we prevent the laser from damaging the garment underneath. And this is going to be interesting. You're going to see how easy it is to remove. And that's a myth that it's not easy to remove. The reason it's not easy to remove is other companies don't know the little secrets and they don't have a really good foil. So our foil has got a special paper backing. It's not the uh, foil from Costco. And we're almost done here. Now it's going to do perforation. So now you can skip this step. We prefer to do it. And what we're going to do is simply perforate the foil. It's going to make it really easy to tear. You're going to run it at 900. And this makes the cleaning process easier. So our theory is that you can spend an extra minute or so using the embroidery machine to perforate the foil. And then you'll see how easy we're going to tear it out. Or you can skip this step and spend the labor to try and pick out the foil piece by piece afterwards. 
or you cannot use the foil and have a high spoilage count on your garments when your customers try and wash them later on. So as soon as it's done, we're going to take this over to the NGL laser. This is a standalone laser, and what we're able to do is put the hoops right inside this device. And it's an actual, the exact same hooping parts as from your embroidery machine. And we put it on our, in our laser, and there's the cutting path, and we're going to select the NGL and the bar, and we're going to fire that off. Let's just go back over here. It's a pretty simple design, but uh, it's something that you do a lot of, and when we do the next set of letters, you'll find that it's so um, hard to do by hand to place the letter, and you'll still outperform people, because stopping the embroidery machine to do all six heads would take you a lot longer than um, and placing each letter down than just doing it this way. almost done here and I, the reason I'm keeping this running again is I want to prove to you it's live and I'm taking it straight from the embroidery machine all the way over to the laser now understand that I could be doing six of these at the same time and then immediately putting in six more hoops so now let's walk it over follow it live Stay, put your shoulders back, Stephen, there, thanks. Okay, so the reason we're putting the white paper down, you can see that. Might be hard to see on the YouTube video, but it's actually, there's a red laser shining everywhere to show you the outline. Here we go, one button on the computer. How many passes was that? We just did this at a low power with seven passes. Okay, show me how you're gonna remove that foil there, Stephen. So this can be done off of the embroidery machine, obviously. Uh, all the pieces out, just grab those other two pieces. Grab these other two out here. Putting down the second layer now. Just want to show you the stitch count and the speed we're running it at. There's a lot of uh, thread cuts, so it's start and stop, start and stop. 